Meanwhile, back here at home, bees are creating quite a buzz in Oildale. A viewer called our tip line saying that there's a swarm of them beside her home and a landlord won't take care of the problem. Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Powers is live at the Sierra Mobile Home Park on McCord Avenue with a look at this issue. Kristen. Dave Rochelle, a colony of bees are making themselves at home inside of this boarded up building. The problem, we're just feet away from where people live and some of them claim, despite complaining, the landlord isn't doing anything. Some unwanted neighbors swarming around Sierra Mobile Home Park in Oildale. It's a pretty big issue. This woman called the Eyewitness News tip line and asked we hide her identity. She says she's allergic to bees and these ones have been terrorizing her. When I got stung, I broke out into a rash on my chest, my neck, and uh, starting to get one on my face. Arvel Nye also lives near the hive. They just chase you down, all it takes is one of them. He says the bees have been here for a while. About four years probably. Our tipster claims she's asked the landlord to hire a beekeeper numerous times. She says that, that she'll get something done with it and just never happens. The landlord would not talk on camera, but says my call was the first time she heard about the bee problem. Are you serious? She's lying about the never hearing it. Have you told Kathy personally about this? Oh yeah, she knows about it. Beekeepers say they would need the landlord's permission to safely remove them. Yeah, see it starts to cool down right here. One met us at the mobile park. I'm looking, trying to find where the hive is really. To assess the situation. It's going to be right here. It's Mark Villacano says it's likely there are thousands of bees in there. Absolutely. But he can't give an estimate on how much it would cost to fix since he can't see inside of the boarded up home. Would you consider this something that needs to be handled? <laughs> Yeah, if it's, if it's pestering people. Our tipster is hoping the landlord will work with a beekeeper to keep them alive, but just find them a new home. The landlord tells me she is working to fix the issue, but she would not give me a timeline. State code officials tell me this infestation could be a violation, but they'd have to take a look at it. And in order to, to do that, they need someone to file a complaint. So far, that has not happened. Live in Oildale, I'm Kristen Powers, Eyewitness News. Back to you. All right, Kristen, thank you. And this is one of many stories investigated over the years, thanks to tips from viewers like you. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, call our tip line. That number is 869-2929. You can also send our newsroom an email at tipline at bakersfieldnow.com.